I'm not uh, a researcher and expert in AI, so I will talk about something different. Do you know which is the shortest sentence in the German Verfassung, the German Constitution? It's Eigentum verpflichtet. In English, ownership or property is an obligation. And do you know what is the shortest sentence in the Constitution of 1949 of the former East German Republic? It is exactly the same. Eigentum verpflichtet. Property is an obligation. And isn't it intriguing that uh, you have some kind of eternal truth that goes back to, to Cicero, to, to the Greeks, to Thomas von Aquin. And nevertheless, you can build a completely different economic system on this one sentence. So now in our, our system today, how do those who have the ownership and the property, how do they meet the requirements of this kind of obligation? Maybe you have heard of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, and about 10 years ago, they started the initiative, The Giving Pledge. The Giving Pledge is an initiative for the billionaires of this world, and until today, 240 billionaires in this world have joined this initiative, and they promised uh, to, to share at least half of their assets and give it to society. Most of them do it by founding a foundation. So now coming back to the founders of the Carl Zeiss Foundation, it was founded in 1889 by the families of Ernst Abbe, Carl Zeiss, and Otto Schott. And they went far beyond the current giving pledge because they spent all of their assets and not just half of them to the foundation that I have the honor together with my team um, to, to lead today. And their idea was that there are so many hardworking people here in Jena for the shot and the size company, uh, how do they give back to, to the society here and even beyond? And their major goal was to fund research, especially STEM research because if the university does good research, the companies will get good labor forces and in a third step, the society uh, of this city and also beyond um, will, will be well off. Today, we try to, to implement the idea of 1889 to modern society. So what kind of STEM research topics are most important for our society? And one of our topic, focus topics is uh, funding research on artificial intelligence. And we are currently the biggest funder of uh, research on artificial intelligence beyond public money or private directly company money. And we are happy that uh, today we can listen to the 12 projects that we fund which do research on artificial intelligence and you all comprise, let me say like this, almost 30 million euros in funding. And I thank the organizers uh, and their institutions, the Alice Unit and also Conrad Philip who uh, set all this up today and also my team colleagues um, and um, wish you uh, insights. Uh, I'm also happy that uh, some uh, representatives of our companies, Shot and Size, are here today and share their insights as well. And closing, or to, to, to close, um, I have a wish to the researchers. This is third party funding that we provide to you. And just don't take it for granted because I said at the beginning, ownership is an obligation. Ownership is an obligation to those who own. 
And academic freedom is also an, academ an, uh, an obligation. And if you combine the two, just think of that all the money that you can spend was um, uh, um, was um, sorry was uh, um, was generated sorry all the money that you can spend was generated by hardworking people of the companies here in Jena and at the other places. So just keep that in mind and feel the obligation and. Uh, I wish you a nice day today and uh, I'm happy to hand over to uh, the mayor of the city and thank you for taking your time to be with us today. Last week we had the big digital summit here and you were uh, the opening speaker and I'm very happy that for our small digital summit of the Alice Unit and the Carl Zeiss Foundation you, will, you are also here. Thank you.